Hi, this is David at greensmoothie.co.nz. Today we're going to be working with wheatgrass. And here's some wheatgrass here that's had its first cut. Um, the first cut normally blends up pretty well. Just do it about two and a half minutes in the blender. Um, but the focus of today's video is the second and third cuts. Because you can get maybe three crops out of a, out of wheatgrass. But the problem is they tend to get a woody and a bit stalky. And there's a lot of brown bits. Uh, and they don't blend up that well. Um, so, yeah, the, the taste of your green smoothie isn't as good. So, what we're going to do today is I'll show you how to get uh, use all of the wheatgrass. Um, second and third cuts. Um, and still keep your green smoothie tasting great. So, first thing, I'm going to cut all of this up and put it in a bowl. There we go, voila, I cut the whole lot, so that's a huge amount of wheatgrass there, and I'm going to blend that up. Basically the blender will basically disintegrate all the green parts, and there'll be some spidery thread-like uh, fibres left in there that can clump together. Um, great for fibre, but if there's too many of them, like in the second or third cart, when it gets a bit brown and stalky, they don't taste that good. So I'll show you a quick way of how you can eliminate those parts, but keep the green uh, where most of your nutrients is, is held. Okay, here we are ready to go. We've got our wheatgrass rinsed. Uh, first, we're going to put in a banana and a kiwi fruit. Here's my stash of frozen bananas. Keep them handy in the fridge. Just pick one up and um, check it in. Rinse kiwi fruit, and it goes. That'll blend really well. As well as wheatgrass, I'm going to put a lot of uh, other stalky, lovely greens in there. So silver beet and celery. So the thing with wheatgrass is don't put the whole clump in at once. Try and spread it around. Because um, if it clumps too much, you can get an overload. Um, so yeah, just spread a little bit like that and put some other pieces in there. As a general rule, softer stuff at the bottom to help get it going. Greens, wheatgrass, celery. Pack that in. So this, yeah, this is my unit, and it gets an absolutely pounding every day. Gets a green smoothie, breaking up ice. Um, has a, has a skipped a beat since day one. Okay, moment of truth. Everything's packed in. Uh, I'm going to switch it on and see if it takes. Uh, I'll see if I have to use this tamper or not. If you pack it correctly, you shouldn't have to use it, uh, which is all part of the, um, the learning curve. So we're going to put it on. 90 seconds. See what happens. <laughs> Okay, that's done. I am going to add a little bit of ice into that because I'm going to run it for another 60 seconds just to get a really good pounding and I don't want it to heat up. So I'm just going to put a, put a handful and a half of ice in there that I hope will keep it really cool because this thing will make hot soup if you leave it running for five minutes. Okay, and back on for 60. Okay, she's done. Okay, I'm going to bring you over to the sink now, and we're going to pour this through one of these. Uh, nut milk bad. So you can grab these from a lot of different places. You can grab them off Green Smoothie, Cohen's Ed. It doesn't have to be that large because it does drain reasonably fast through it. So we're going to pour it through, leave it for a minute, and then give it a squeeze, and then we'll be done. Okay, there we're done. Squeeze it all through. That's what's left behind. Uh, yeah, green solids, all the brown stalks, and they're not too nice. Do, if you are hardcore, do eat this. <laughs> but if you're a wuss like me, strain it out. 
uh, you're left with your green smoothie juice. So tip that into a glass and enjoy. And here we have the finished product. Okay, so that's what to do with your second and third cuts of wheatgrass or any other really stalky vegetable uh, that you just can't handle that amount of fiber uh, in the smoothie. Just strain it through a nut bag. Tastes beautiful.